Hello everyone and welcome to Number 9 Farms. Today is St. Patrick's Day and guess what? We are moving plants because these, look, you can see how tall they are. Right now this is the, one of the King of the North ones and you can see how beautiful they are. Just as vibrant and doing so well. But um, you can see they're all the way to the tops of the light now. And um, we're supposed to have um, wet weather this week so temperatures as low as uh, 13 so I can't really move them out to the greenhouse which is another issue because I've run out of space as you can see between now what's here and the house plants that I have plus the um the uh, the regular the seedlings whatever you want to call them the the little plants here that I got to for the you know garden this year and what I wanted to tell you was that we're moving stuff now because I got a greenhouse full right now and the temperature yes the temp it will hold it's but it's still very cold out and it's Sunday and I wanted to show you this this is this is called the little gym lettuce and the little gym lettuce is a is a romaine type and all five of them are up and also the two peas that I planted are up too. So it's pretty good and that was just Thursday and you see how far they have come. Oh and then these little black things right here, I did find those in the box. I guess we just didn't even notice them and I went back to get the parts and stuff for it and I was like oh they are here but I didn't remember seeing them. <laughs> This is when you have your own little carpenter. <laughs> I quit. I'm going on a strike. <laughs> okay, we got, we've got to move this. So, hold on. All right, so look at that. All the trays, and then he put this extra board on top, and I moved all the peppers that are tall up here, and then I still got the end, and a whole nother rack right there. And this is what I've moved all the house plants to on the old bamboo um, plant shelf that we brought back into the house. Okay, so I want to show you what we're cooking. Um, we're doing this uh, corned beef, um, the flat cut. Uh, and I paid $10.01 for it. Um, it was $17.54, but um, it's dated the 20, 2022. 515 2022 so um and i don't use any of the um inserts if they come with little Se seedlings right. instead Seedling. i make my own and that's what i want to show you guys is right here this is my recipe here so the corned beef seasoning and this way you can uh you know if you want to use some of those things if not you know i get it just uh, make your own little thing up, but this is what I use, and this works really good. And I like when the um, the seeds, like the juniper berries, the caraway seeds, um, the coriander seeds, all that gets soft in, in the cooking of the process, and they just taste so good. They're just delicious. Okay, there you have it. It looks so good, and what I'm going to do is a, you could put a little bit of... Um, broth in there or you could just use that's my oven preheating um or you could just use water or whatever but you just need a tiny bit of it not much or i what if i'm putting the sauerkraut in the, or the cabbage or the potatoes on top um i really don't worry about it as much um but since the, i'm not gonna put uh are we doing the sauerkraut or we decide just cabbage uh, i don't know yet okay so if I, use, if I use if I use um cabbage, I use a little bit of water, but if I use the sauerkraut, I just use the juice from the sauerkraut. All right, now the lid's going on, and I got the oven set for 350, and I'm gonna set it for two hours. With those cold temperatures coming, we even show now nine degrees. We we covered up what that um garlic that was starting to already show up. And over here, I want to show you guys what's going on in the cold frame. 
it's been trying to snow all day, like little flakes everywhere. But now I'm gonna have to be really quick. So open your eyes. <laughs> at that you see that and even the, the um lettuce is up right there there and it's staying at 50 degrees and it's cold out so that's a good thing and here comes my blanket guy <laughs> i got a lot of hats <laughs> <laughs> well the blanket one ain't so bad <laughs> It, where would you rather be? Yeah. <laughs> Don't even say that other place. <laughs> the blanket guy? Or would you rather be the shipyard guy? <laughs> Not a shipyard. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is that what happens when you get dry rotted? Yeah. You just rip easy like that? Yeah. Also, that's what happened to my knee. You get any tailored in it. Okay, yeah. See. Uh, the, all the paint that you see on it and the colors, those are from my canvases. Here, I'll be the blanket girl. What, do you want to cover completely up? No, or? not today. I, I, I just want to get that one from um, crack in the back. Let me go get the. I got two more blankets in there. I think these are better than the tops because they're a little thicker. Yeah. I want to leave it what little bit of sunshine it can get for whatever it's worth with all these clouds. Look at that, guys. They just landed in the pond. Two Canadian geese. Look at that. I'm in the greenhouse. <laughs> okay, so that was the gluten-free beer I bought. Um, and that is the uh, gluten-free Irish soda bread, which Rosie, uh, uh she really wants this bread. She is <coughs> rover crazy. <laughs> I know, Muffin, you know. But everything is done, so we're going to eat now. But this one, <coughs> Rosie, that is enough. <laughs> Silly girl. Where did spring grow? Come back, spring. Yes. <laughs> oh, the geese are still out there. Look, you see them floating around? They're coming in. All it wants to pick up on is the snow. Oh, Rosie. Perfectly. Tender and juicy. Yeah. Bruce is cleaning out the little thing. They are growing so good and doing so well. Uh oh. Rosie's. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> That's the same one every time, I think. Yeah. He's a little, uh... Houdini. All right, guys. Got and we're going to have to... We've got the lumber to try to, um, build the uh, little... Chick shawl. The Justin Rhodes chick shawl. Ooh, be careful. But this little system has really worked out well. It's kept them warm. It's just been, it, it didn't get dust all in the house like normal. And yes, and before, you know, at our other farm, we had a, a room that we did this in, but we just don't have the infrastructure here that we had there. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> it's it's going to take a while. Where's our little, um, there it is. So it just, it's just going to be, you know, a process. And it seems like it takes us twice as long to get things done as it did that too. Twice as long, half as much. That's as long as we <laughs> work twice as hard to make half as much. That's it. Yeah, well, that has been the Tomorrow. story. Hey. That has been the story. 
But it's all good. We're working on it and getting things done. And it's trying to snow out there. It's snowing and trying to stick. But it can go away. Yes. Go away. Spring, spring. Awesome. Come again. <laughs> hey, look on the screen there. That is so weird. Look. Why is it doing that? Okay. Creepy. <laughs> All right. So I just wanted to show you that I did the Chili Mac for the boys, which it's almost all gone. And I used 2021's uh, tomatoes in the jar. And then I made salads, um, which I'm getting ready to put some cheese on for uh, Bruce and I. So um, I'm trying to catch up the video here. Look at that. That is so weird. What the freak is that? The lights are causing it to do that. Almost looks like a... Ooh, okay. I better clean my camera. Okay, I think I know what it was. It was water from the greenhouse. <laughs> so we are building the chick shawl from Justin Rhodes. So um, if we, we've already cut all the lumber. Of course, Bruce did all this, not me. <laughs> But the other day when we were at the um, uh, Menards, you saw us get some uh, lumber, and this is what it's for. So, whew, the fire feels good. See, I had a great idea from my photographer lady, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Was terrible. Last blade McCoy, right? <laughs> that was terrible. You can't say I didn't get my money's worth out of that blade, right? <laughs> so Saturday we saw the guy again with the um truffle infused balsamic vinegar. But it's more like almost like a it's a vinegar, but I don't know, it's just it's thicker than it's yeah. So, um, and if you could have like a ranch dressing to put with it, it's absolutely delicious. Um, but I was going to tell you the Saturday's market was $300 less than last year's, um, show. And we, I just got my acceptance letter to Green Bay for Wednesday. So that's a good thing. Um, cause I will be, right. what? Green! Yeah. <laughs> um, the boys, the little boys, Alexis is um the grandkids, they always say Grandma Don says Green Bay. So 